I think it's very important because we need to interact with the communities where we work. When we build a mine, uh, we're going to be there for 25, 30, sometimes 50 years. That's a long time to be involved with the community. We actually start that engagement well before we build a mine. We start it when, we, uh, when we're first doing exploration. But knowing that we're going to have that interaction with, with uh, the community means that we have to be involved in the health of that community. Um, for tech resources, uh, defining forward is really quite simple. Um, we know that 450,000 children a year under the age of five are dying from zinc deficiency. We're working actively on that problem. We want to see those deaths eliminated. We'll measure the steps along the way as time goes by and we can see our progress. That's moving forward. We first got to know about this uh, problem of, of zinc deficiency in the world by statistics that were published by the World Health Organization. This is some years ago. But in actual fact, we really got galvanized. Uh, it's an, an interesting term coming from the zinc business. But in 2008, when, I think it was 2008, when the Copenhagen consensus uh, met uh, here in the US and defined what they saw as uh, the order of problems in the world that could be solved with relatively little money and the addition of uh, uh, supplements with zinc and vitamin A was their number one choice. When we saw that and we saw the associated uh, he um, uh, health and death uh, st statistics from uh, the World Health Organization, then we knew we had to do something. Um, with regard to how quickly our management and our employees got involved, uh, quicker than my wildest dreams. Uh, I always knew that the senior management would be engaged and very engaged. I always knew that the people in the zinc business would be very engaged. But we have employees that span copper, uh, zinc, uh, energy, coal and gold. Um, I was hard pressed to think that they would all get interested in the zinc problem. But they certainly did, because they don't see it as a zinc problem, they see it as a problem with kids' health, and that just attracts everybody's attention. Well, raising awareness is, about this problem is, is what we're actively engaged in, in, in two major fronts. First of all, uh, via our own employees, uh, we've got uh, Zinc uh, Saves Kids, zinc, zinc in Health captains in each of our operations across our organization who've worked very hard to educate employees at those sites who've gone home and talked about it to their families. I know cases where their kids have then t gone to school and talked about this problem. So on a, on a scale that we can across our organization, we're very actively engaged in that education. Over and above that, uh, as I mentioned earlier this afternoon, our support of uh, free the Children's uh, We Day, or We Days, they occur in a number of locations in Canada each year, actually impacts thousands of teenagers who are hearing firsthand about this problem, seeing the video that we saw this afternoon, and that's had an amazing effect. They've gone away and again talked about it at schools, talked about it with families, so the word is spreading, and I, I guess the third way with me being here today has helped educate some people. A number of people have come to me uh, from the audience this afternoon and said they weren't aware of how uh, big a problem this was.